Hi, welcome to the Virtual Fly Lab. In this assignment, you will get into groups and perform a genetics experiment using virtual fl fruit flies. I'll take you to the website and give you an example of what you have to do. The first thing you have to do is go to the information sources you'll see in the menu on the side. Once that comes up, you'll see that there's a link to a list of information sources. Click there and it'll redirect you to um, a Digo site um, and there you'll find the virtual fly lab experiment. Click there. Now this this uh, website is an actual virtual lab and you'll have to follow the directions. Um, so let's quickly go through. Uh, first what we have to do is click the computer to order our flies. Which are right here. Now it's important that you only choose one trait. So in this case we have our female fruit flies and I'm going to choose one of the traits. So you choose from the side here. Uh, I'm going to change her body color to be yellow. Okay, so now we have our yellow fruit flies and we'll add those to the cart. Now, um, since the females already have the trait, the males will simply stay wild. Let's add those to the cart. Uh, we'll click our shopping cart and we'll check out takes us back to the lab. So we've now got our flies delivered. We'll unpack them and we'll put them in the incubator. Males and females. Okay, now we have to click on our jar to start their mating. See the eggs are turning into larvae and our flies have hatched. So let's click here to see what we have. Okay, there we go. Click. And now we're going to look at our flies under a microscope. Here we go. Let's sort our flies. Our flies are sorted into males and females. All of our females are wild type. Remember, they were yellow before. So let's add those to our notebook. And we have to do a second cross. So let's use those, that female in a new mating. Okay, zoom out. And let's look at our males. Our males are yellow, so let's add those to the notebook. We've got to use one of them in a mating, the next mating jar. And we'll zoom out. Now let's send all of this data to a computer. Uh, we have to do a second cross, so we're not going to analyze our results quite yet. So let's click No. And return to the lab. Okay, now we've got our first offsprings, the wild female and the yellow male. So we're going to cross those. So let's click on that. And once again, we have to wait to see our, our incubator jar. Things are changing in there. Okay, let's look to see what we have this time. In this case, we have four different groups. Okay, so let's take a look at these. We have males who are yellow. We have females that are wild. Add those to our notebook. Don't forget to add everything to your notebook. We have males that are wild. And we have females that are yellow. Now you can see over here in this section that all of your different flies are added to the notebook. Um, since they've all been added to your notebook, let's send the data to a computer. And in this case, we will go to the computer now. So let's analyze our results. You're going to see on this page that you have the second cross and all the information there. As well, you have your first cross, information from the first cross. Now using this data, you have to go and write a report with your teammates. The report that you write with your teammates has to be posted in the discussion section of 
the wiki space. Um, don't forget to do your pedigree chart as well. If you have any questions, um, I'm here to help. Good luck.